some of you guys might remember this. This is Boot Lego. It's from a company called Montoy. And my dollar store, shout out to the dollar store, Dollarama, they had, they had these. They had a number of these kits, uh, small, small model kits of Boot Lego. And I don't have the box anymore. I threw it out. But it looked interesting. It looked like, I was like, well, on the picture, it was the proper Lego T-Rex. And I was like, for a dollar fifty Canadian moose bucks, I was like, there's no way in hell that the, that the full-sized Lego T-Rex is in this box. It's a fairly small box. But I was so curious, dollar fifty, why not, right? And... <laughs> The dinosaur in the box is actually quite different than the one depicted on the outside of the box. This is the inside of the box one. And it's not a bad toy. Like, it, the quality of the plastic, the quality of the printing, it's fine. It just wasn't the thing on the box. And it doesn't really look like a proper T-Rex regardless. Uh, not that I'm a dinosaur expert, a paleontologist in the slightest i'm not uh, paleontologizing over here uh shout to paleontologizing but even if you look at the the arm here it's just far too long uh for a t-rex t-rex has uh much much smaller baby arms as as i'm sure many of you know big bigger chunkier legs uh, and even a a larger head so this is all pretty whack it's some kind of dinosaur it's just not a t-rex but I was back at the I was back at the scene of the crime. I was back at Dollarama, and I was like, "Let's see what else they have." I'm curious. What else? What else could I get? And sure enough, they had this Montoy Triceratops. And again, there's no way in hell that this Triceratops is here in the box because this is a this is a fairly large uh, Lego toy. Uh, and I think I actually have a Triceratops um, from Lego, from the Jurassic Park line. And as you can see, $1.50 Montoy boot Lego. Let's go. Let's check it out. They, there's a number of other ones. Yeah, there's see, there's the T-Rex. There's um, This was the one that was made up for Jurassic World and some other random raptors and stuff. I'll laugh if it has a T-Rex head. Let's see. <laughs> I will laugh too. Let's see. We don't need to preserve the box. Who cares, right? So let's just let's just dig in and see what we get. It will be amusing. We'll we'll have a good laugh at what it is. And again, it was like a dollar 50. So like, who cares? It's just I could have I could have very well have bought and bought like a a chocolate bar. So instead of buying instead of buying candy, I bought cheap bootleg Lego. Okay guys, let's see. Okay, let's I'm seeing the Triceratops head. This could be this could look a lot better. It's probably not gonna look like proper, but it could be better than the T-Rex. There's no instructions as far as I can tell, so let's just have to wing it guys. Let's see. Let's try our hand on this. Okay, it goes like that. That's pretty straightforward. The head actually looks pretty good. Do the parts fit nicely? That could be an issue. All these parts have to align. Model kit building. Well, I'm not really sure how far in that goes. Oh, looks like we have to put the horns in first. It's definitely smaller than your typical Lego. What? How does this go? What? What, what, what? This is this is boot Lego. Wait, is there instructions? I don't think there's instructions. 
No. I mean, there's a thing on the back here, but that's not very clear. Here, let's... It looks like... Instructions would be nice. They definitely would be nice. No lies detected here. I don't understand what they want me to do with these horns, bro. They threat. Okay, yes. And the second one... Big time derpin. Dollar fifty. You get your money's worth. The boot Lego. Okay. I mean, is this kind of what they want? I guess so. Very odd. There's like a there's barely an instruction thing on the back just like that. But as far as the assembly of the of the head part goes, not really. So yeah. All of this kind of fits in a kind of like a weird, like unsatisfactory way. Just trying to get all this to, to go in. It just seems kind of loose and kind of shit -hay. I'm sure there's a way to get it aligned nicely. But, you know, that's the thing about Lego is that Lego typically just goes in really, really nicely. It just fits in super, super well. And you don't really have much of an issue regarding like parts fitting nicely. <laughs> it's just not... Okay, so that's that. It's kind of whack. And let's get the, the legs done. Uh, okay, this goes here like this. I should, I should, uh, next time I get a chance, I'll get my proper Lego Triceratops. Which is much nicer, of course. You can do a bit of a comparison. Whoa. Let's see. We're building... Building boot Lego, guys. Oh my gosh, this doesn't even go in well. Blah. Okay, okay, you plan, you plan. Yeah, that's the thing about Lego, it's just very satisfying to put together, and the parts, you know, they just come together really nicely. And it takes a little bit of effort, but not like to the point where you're like, your fingers are, are blistering from from the repeated, repeated use, repeated thrusting. <laughs> Um, yeah, and believe me, I've built uh, my fair share of of Mega Block stuff too, and Creo, and and yeah, it's just a significantly shittier experience all around making uh, making non Lego stuff. So again, the the biggest the 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 problem child part here is mostly revolving around the head and getting all that all the horns and everything to fit snugly. It just just doesn't seem to easily connect again in the way that like Lego normally nicely connects but there it is guys just to look at it it looks fine but as far as like playability goes the way the all all this stuff with the face connects is not very good and I would recommend uh, going in and gluing these parts uh, on the interior just so that they're not like this loose connection and trying to make it fit better by cutting some parts and all that. I might actually have to go in and do that, put a little effort into that. When you look at the coloring, it looks fine. If we can look at some of the patterns and the paint job application, all of that looks actually half decent. And for the for the size, it's not that bad. The articulation is whatever. I think that the, the actual real Lego Triceratops has like a ball joint on the head so it can like swivel and rotate. Uh, but yeah, this doesn't look too bad. I'd say that from the looks, it's a nicer looking model than than the well, this, which is supposed to be a T-Rex. This looks more like what a Triceratops should look like, maybe. 
but again, it's not... I would say it's for about a dollar fifty. You're probably getting just about what you paid for. I'd say maybe even a little nicer than than what I was actually expecting. I was expecting something like awful, like it didn't wasn't gonna look all that great. But it's it's mostly in the build and the construction that's kind of questionable. But it's 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 a dollar fifty for boot Lego. If you go to like conventions. If you go to, um, you know, comic conventions and stuff, you might see people that sell boot Lego and possibly this very same kind of model for way more than a dollar fifty. You know, so taking that into consideration, it's not bad. Some something to put on your desk and look at for a while, and, and again, you can make some adjustments to make it look nice. But uh, yeah, maybe we'll try some other ones. I think I want to get this one next. This one or this one. Because the other three are raptors, and then there's a flying one. But yeah, that is another edition of Boot Lego with Ebo.